Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we will continue with part 55 of constructing the car project. Okay, so in the previous lesson, we've worked on the, some of the C-pillar area. So I'm gonna try and continue on the pillar and also the rail. Okay, so before we continue, I corrected this earlier, but you'll notice that this is actually a little bit off. So I'm gonna try to adjust this. So you'll see that it's a little bit off from the curve. So hopefully it doesn't impact us too much. Um, so let's see how it does. Oh, should I delete that? I'm just going to delete the construction history. This one, uh, the history is on, but that's just for online. So I'm just going to delete the construction history on that one too. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to un uh, untrim this piece right here. And I'm just gonna align it position. So I'm just going to grab this one, push it align. It's going, going to put it in a partial. Uh, let's see. Now I know the CV structure is a little bit weird, so I'm going to try to increase the degree a little bit uh, to see if I can keep it as similar as possible. Looks like that's good. Uh, yeah, I think I don't think that's too bad. Now let's see if it's actually positional. Um, so I'm just gonna check it with, now because I'm actually aligning to a curve, you can't really check if it's pushing up all. So you actually have to do a curve to curve. It looks like it's a little bit off. So you'll see that it's actually a point, uh, there's a point zero 0.03, which is a little bit higher than our tolerance. So I'm gonna try to increase the degree five. It's still not enough. So maybe I'll just increase the, position and influence, see if I can reduce it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this is too bad. Let's see if I can follow that to the top. So I'm just gonna say one, two, three, and maybe four. Let's see how the highlight is. Uh, Get yeah, this a little bit better. Uh, no, I don't think it's too bad. Yeah, I don't think it's a. Uh, I don't think it's too bad. So I'm just going to say position influence to max, <clears throat> and uh, well, yeah, I'm going to just put put position to max, and I'm just going to slide uh, to three so i think that's pretty good i'm going to try to see if it still works out for us over here so i'm just going to position align this piece right here Yeah, it looks like it's pretty similar, so I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. I'm just going to line it, uh, blending off, G2 on. It's going to be coverage of continuous both sides. Oh, actually, yeah, I think it still looks pretty good. So I'm, uh, yeah. Okay, so however, because we aligned this side, uh, we might want to make sure that this side is still good. So I'm just gonna check the surface continue over here. Looks like there's a little bit of curvature continue issue, which I think should be easily be solved with this. Uh, again, I'm gonna say vector uh, project from Y. And I'm just gonna make sure that continue is still good on both sides. Oh, looks like it's uh, actually failing position. So if that's the case, I'm just going to revert in this piece right here. I probably have to, oh, the position influence is a max. That's, uh, that's not good. So which means that there's probably, oh yeah, and there is, so it looks like there's a coverage of continuity issue over here. So I'm gonna have to probably correct that first. So I'm just gonna untrim the, uh, the, these pieces over here, and I'm just going to curvature align this piece back to here. Same thing, vector. I'm just gonna make sure that it's curvature, still curvature continuous, and I'll probably turn on blending on just one. And let's see what the proxy display shows us. 
Uh, well, yeah, it uh, looks like it's close enough, so we don't have to. We probably don't have to do anything around that. Okay, so that's good. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure that it's still good over here, position wise. Okay, so it looks like it's slightly failing position. So I'm just going to align that piece again. Right here, partial. And okay, so that's good. I don't know why it's not. Okay, so it is curvature, so that's good. I'm just going to make adjustment to these pieces over here. So project here and project here. I'm just gonna repeat the process. Just trim here, trim here. I'm just gonna delete the construction history on both sides. And I'm just going to align this again. Make sure this is good. Okay, blending is off. And now I'm gonna align this piece with edge. So let's continue on. Curvature is a little bit off, but it's just off by just a hair. So let's see if I can just do a line vector. And I'm just gonna check on this side if it's still good. If it's not, yeah, it's still good. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with that. Delete the construction history over here and over here. Okay, so that's good. However, this isn't. So I actually probably have to push this on a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to delete. Uh, well, actually, I'm actually not going to delete this. However, I do need to push it a little bit. So it looks like the curve that I'm looking for is actually this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the curve over here. Yeah, actually I should delete this. I'm just gonna grab the curve over here and snap it here. And that's gonna be my new rail. So it's just gonna be one, one, one over here and one over there. That's good. Oh, actually, I should probably, well, that's okay. All right, okay, so that's good. Uh, however, this probably needs to be moved a little bit. So I'm just gonna do that right now. So I'm just gonna extend this curve right here. And right now it's actually fitting this quite nicely. But the problem is it's, well, actually let's check the orthographic view. Make sure it's good. Okay, so it looks like it's fitting the canvas image very nicely, but the problem is it's uh, the thickness has to be widened a little bit over here. Because we moved a lot, uh, actually quite a lot inboard, uh, I would have to adjust this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to grab this curve and I'm just going to use a stretch tool. I'm not going to go too much, uh, too much outboard because right now it's actually quite uh, similar to where it needs to be on the canvas. So I'm just going to stretch it that, that much. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend this like that and snap it there. And I'm going to snap this. Notice that I only snapped it when I move this up and down, I only snap there using the right mouse so that the height doesn't change. I didn't use an extent. So next up, I'm just going to grab this one because there's probably a little bit of space between these two. So I'm just going to grab this one and snap it here like that. And that's going to be our new line for this, uh, this edge over here. Now, you do notice that it's a little bit thick to thin, uh, I'm gonna to try to see how much we can like try to adjust to make sure that it's not too bad. So we'll see how that goes. Now this piece on the other hand, it's, uh, this one needs to be redone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to copy and paste this piece, uh, this one. Actually, it's a little bit off, so I'm not going to do that. What I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just untrim this piece and do the fit curve again. So it looks like degree three is good, degree two. Oh, actually, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so degree two, I can make that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy and paste and I'm gonna paste it over here like that. And I'm just going to 
extend this piece over here like that. And I'll snap it over here. Now I'm just gonna make sure that it looks good from the side view. Um, and well, because it is actually double-edged, um, this is a surface, not a curve. So I'm just gonna duplicate this curve because when I try to align it from the side view, you don't know if it's going to be aligning on the side, um, the front edge or the rear edge. So I'm just gonna duplicate a curve for the rear edge and I'm gonna grab the canvas over here and I'll try to snap it. Okay, so it looks good here. Uh, the gesture looks very similar. So I think all I have to do is uh, just grab the curve and snap it like this, make sure it looks good from the side view. That looks good. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete it. However, I do have to rear check it from the rear view. It looks like it's a little bit off from the rear view. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to extend this just a little bit more. Um, actually, in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this curve. I'm just going to go slightly uh, inward. And I'm going to align this piece over here to over here. I'm just going to make sure that it's position. So whole position over here. I'm going to blending one so that this CV also follows. Okay, so that's good. However, I'm going to have to resnap this one. So in order to do this, uh, instead of doing a grabbing from the curve or the side view, I think I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna, okay, first of all, let me just put this in the default layer like that. And I'm just going to create a curve like this. I'm just gonna project from the top like that and let me just move this up a little bit. And I'm just going to align this piece right here using the stretch tool. So let's see. Okay, so it looks like it is a little bit off, but I think I can also afford to pull this a little bit sideways. Now we just almost bang on right here, but I think I can just wiggle it just a little bit. So I'm just going to snap it from the side view, actually let's hide these pieces so that I can actually do this right here. So I'm just gonna do something like that. And hopefully that'll get us a little bit closer to this line. And you see the difference? Now it's not much, but it does get us closer to the canvas. So I'm just gonna do just a little bit of that. And that looks good. Now I know it is a little bit off from here. Um, I don't know if I will really want to do this. We'll, we'll try, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So I think I probably want to do a rail and just project it. Um, so we'll see. So I'm just, well, first of all, I'm just gonna trim that off because we got the curve now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a by rail. So one here, rail here. Oh, uh, this one. So what I probably want to do is just grab a rail, single monorail like this and something like that. And I probably want to do a duplicate like that. Oh, it's a, oh, well, I grab fit curve, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to snap it over here and I'm just gonna snap this one over here somewhere close. Like that, I'm gonna delete the surface. So now I'm just doing this to make sure the curvature is somewhat similar between the two. Uh, and after that, I'm just gonna do one and two. So gen one here, rail one there, and rail one there. And I'm just gonna use the curve segment over here to snap it right here so that the length is the same. Uh, that's not good. So I'm just gonna rail one rebuild, that should do it. That should do the trick. Okay, so now let's see how, how it looks. Okay, so um, I, to be honest, I don't know why it gets wider at the bottom and in the actual image, I think it does, it actually stays somewhat parallel. So let's check this out. Yeah, it stays parallel. So I don't know why the canvas calls it for it to be a little bit wider at the bottom. Um, if that's the case, I'll just, Eh, I'll just leave it. 
I don't think it's like too critical that it's a little bit different. Um, yeah. Now I'm just going to extend this a little bit and I'm going to try to fit it over here. Now it is a little bit different here. So maybe I can just uh, push this in a little bit. So now on the side view, you'll notice that it's a, uh, it's a little bit different over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this edge over here just a little bit forward so that it's a little bit more complementary on the side view compared to the canvas. And next step, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend this a little bit. And I'll just trim it. Now, with this five degrees, uh, it doesn't need to be. Well, well, maybe it does. OK, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it. And after that, I'm just going to use a stretch tool. And I'm going to snap it there. I'm going to extend this just a little bit. And I'm going to try to push this just a little bit like that. Like this, so that it's a little bit more complementary. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this one and just project it from the rear view like that. So from the side view, I think it's still um, very close to the canvas. What this does is it just allows us to make this a little bit more, well, not necessarily even, but at least a little bit similar to the canvas. Now, if I just wanted to make it even, I would have done that like the actual like width wise, but it is it does get us closer to the canvas. And I don't think the width is uh, too different. OK. So now let's, um, so I think this part is pretty good. Uh, so I'm just going to move to the front and maybe I'll try to put some fillet on this piece over here. Okay, so before we do that, let's take care of this first. So we did make this uh, three mils uh, in width. So I have to also extend this to make it match up. So I'm just going to extend this piece like that. Now, if you want to make it thinner, I can always prop this up. So what I'll do is maybe I extended it through, uh, two mils here. So maybe I'll just move back one mil so that it's, uh, the width of this is about two mils. I can do that in order to make this a little bit less, um, less different, I guess. OK, so now let's. Pop the surface back in. So right now it's a little bit. Uh, I used just to use the rail. So I think I'm just going to duplicate this edge using a fit curve like that. Uh, looks like it's a little bit off. Wow, it's almost 0.8. So maybe I'll try to make that a degree three. See what that does for us. Okay, so I probably want to stick with degree two because right now with degree three, what that does is. Um, it actually creates a little bit of weave over here. So let's actually compare that to the image and see what we get. You'll see the CV structure is a little bit different. Uh, it's one's going down and one's going up. This is not the ideal situation. So I'll probably have to make a little bit of adjustment. So I'm just going to check the canvas. And yeah, it, uh, it looks like it needs to be a little bit straight. So I'll do that. OK, so I'm just going to make it degree two again. And I'll just leave it like this. And now I'm going to try and do a freeform blend between these two. But there is a chance that I uh, might not get us the result that we want. We'll check the highlight and see if we need to make any adjustments. So I'm just going to turn the curvature uh, the crown on and I'm going to crown value of 0 0.01. I think that's that should be enough. And this should be the value that I used over here. It looks like it's pretty close. So I think that's good. And the highlight, oh, the, actually, the highlight doesn't look that half bad. So I think that's pretty good. OK, so now let's continue on and make some adjustments. Okay, so before, um, let's see. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So no complaint there. 
Okay, so I think before I add some fillets, I think I want to do a little adjustment here. I think three mils is a little bit too much. So I think I want to maybe extend the bag about a mil. And before I continue, let me just put the surface back here in the default layer. Okay, so I'm just going to extend this back. Now let's see what kind of history it has. Okay, so it's just a free from lens, so it should work out beautifully for us. So I'm just going to extend and grab this piece and I'll say minus one like that. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm just going to drag it and snap. Looks like this is also free from blend. So that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now this piece on the other hand. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is a, uh, so I made it two mils, um, so I think that's good. Only this needs to be updated. Right now, I think it's actually aligned to a curve. Let's check. So I'm just going to make this invisible. Uh, I, well, actually, yeah, I think it is connected to curve, which is fine, but it actually needs to be aligned to the surface. So I'm just going to grab this one and just align it here, blending on, position influence at one, and extra severe of one. So I think that's good. Okay, so now let's make some fillets. So I think I'll just continue on from here in the rear. I'm just gonna delete all the construction history because I'm pretty happy with where things are. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to see what kind of fillet we need on this one. Now we did do a 300 and 0.5 for the form factor. So curve, uh, curve fillet on. So I'm gonna say G2 300 and for the form factor, I started with 0.5. Let's see what it does for us over here. So I'm just going to start with the most in, in, uh, inside one. Okay, so looks like it is actually pretty close. So maybe we can actually just keep it as is. Now it's a little bit off, but I think this is probably within tolerance. So I'll just keep this size for all the rest. I think it's close enough. So um, before I continue, I'm just gonna hide all the curves that I don't need. And I'm just going to do a 0.3 on uh, this size for all of them. So over here, over here, and over, oops, wrong one. And over here. Okay, so now all I have to do is just connect the curves. So curve here, here, here. Now it'll be wonderful if it can, uh, if I can actually use a, a surface fillet, but the surface fillet, because the width of the surface is too narrow compared to the size of the fillet from here to here, it's not going to do anything. So if I were to grab just this one, core G2 300, I'll be surprised even if it makes it like a 200 fillet. So I grab, try to grab this one, it doesn't do anything. So in this case, you have to either use a blend curve or a curve fillet and make this a little bit manually. I mean, which it takes a little more time, but still it gets us a result that we want and it's just aligned really nicely between each other. So it's not too bad. Okay, so next up, I'm just gonna project all these surfaces with their, you know, with their respective curves. So I'm just going to project the normal so that it still uh, portrays a volume like that. And over here, I think I probably have to do it over here too. And I'm just going to delete all these curves like that. Uh, these curves, I'm just going to delete the construction history like that. And I'm just going to do a trim. And also over here, like that. Okay, so that's good. And now I'm just going to go to square and build all the surfaces. So I'm just going to grab this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one over here. That looks good. I'm just going to the middle one over here. Like that. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because if uh, if there's a surface and a curve, you actually have to select it 
So if I were to just do this, then you have to fin uh, find uh, which one you have to, which takes a little bit more time. But if you just do it this way and delete the curves, uh, there's no like duplicate edge. So it's a little bit faster to do it this way. So that's good. And lastly, this piece over here, like that. And here it is. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna move to the front. Now this one is gonna take a little bit more care, but uh, yeah, let's see what size we need. I'm probably going to duplicate this um, the size over here, so let's measure it. So this should have been a, like a 0.5 um, curve fillet. So let's see, uh, I'm just gonna grab, cur no, not, I'm not gonna grab that. I'm just going to grab, distance over here it looks like it's about 667 so i'll just say that's i don't know six uh 668 so i'm just going to try to do that over here just grab this piece and this one right here and i'm just going to go 668 It looks like it's pretty close. So, so that's actually not bad. Uh, if I just check the, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty close. So I think I can probably use this. However, I just gotta make sure that this uh, is similar over here. So I'm just gonna use the inside one as a reference, as a point of reference. So I'm just gonna do it over here and here. And let's see if that works. Okay, so, yeah, that's actually pretty close. Um, I probably want to do a little bit tighter. So maybe instead of 668, I'll just go 660. Oh, that, that didn't do much. So 650. Uh, yeah, I think 650 is not too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna progressively become bigger as we go outside our board over here. So I'm just gonna grab well, there's a lot of stuff over here, so let me just hide, deselect these, and hide all of these, like that. And I'll just go progressively bigger as we go outboard. So right now it's uh, 650, so I'm just going to do the same thing over here. So this edge and this edge is going to be 650, this one and this one. Probably make it like 655, maybe. And one over here. I'll make it 660. And this one, because of this is such a tiny age, I'll just keep it that way. And lastly, over here, I'll just use connect the uh, connect the dots between the two, and I think we should be good. Okay, so same thing over here. I'm just gonna connect all these edges. Oops, like that. Just with the curves. Uh, you might have made some duplicates over here, so I'm just gonna make sure that I delete those. Oops, this one needs to stay. Curves. Okay, so it looks like there's no curve over here. So I'm just going to snap and snap. Go to the other side. Now this one, I probably need to do a little bit of uh, extra work because right now there are actually two surfaces. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm just going to do the bottom one first and go move up to the top. Okay, so same thing over uh, that we've done on the other side. I'm just going to project. Like this and I'm just can delete these. Go to the other side. Same thing. Like that and just delete the curves. I'll just trim all the surfaces away. Like that and do the same thing on the other side. And now we can make a square. So one, two, three, and four. Just delete the curve. 
because we have the surface edge and do the same thing over here. We can delete these two curves, fill in the hole over here, like that, and fill in the hole over here. We should grab square one, two, three, and four over here. Okay, so that's good. I'm just going to delete the construction history because I'm pretty happy with the shape. Delete the construction history. Now, uh, this one is going to be a little bit tricky. We'll see how that goes. Um, there's, a, uh, there's a chance that I probably have to use a two-piece. Yeah, I think that might be a better idea. So right now, because this is one piece over here and this is a uh, two-piece over here, even though this is... It started as one piece. So what I think what I need to do is I'm just going to do a an insult uh insert carbon surface on this side. I'm just gonna snap it over here like that. Uh now it's a little bit off, but I think it should be okay. So after that, I'm just going to project normal. And I'm just going to grab these two pieces, normal. No, actually, if it's a set of two separate pieces, you probably don't want to do the normal because sometimes it's a little bit off. So I think what I want to do is I'm just going to grab it from the Y and do this. Now, it looks like it is actually off. So I'm going to check on this. So I'm just going to grab these two, make sure that there's no gap. So let's check the surface continuity. It says curvature, but because curvature has a little bit of tolerance, just check it with this. Okay, so it looks like there is a little bit of gap. I don't understand why, but if there is, let's make sure that it's fitted perfectly. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a line and I'm gonna check on curvature. Okay, so it looks like it's, uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so it looks like the carbon surface needs to be extended all the way through. So I'm just going to grab this carbon surface, extend it all the way through. And now I'm gonna extend this back to make sure that they're the same length. These carbon surfaces, I'm just gonna temporarily delete. And I'm just gonna say trim. Oh, this one also. I'm going to say trim, and now, uh, yeah, I'm, okay. So now let's align. So G2, okay, so it looks like it is a little bit off from before. So if you look at the, if you look at the process display, it looks like uh, it needs to be a little bit, uh, just a little bit which is fine. However, the CV structure does get a little bit off. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to grab this one and I'm gonna do a G2 on one side and position on the other and make sure that it is. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Okay, so if this is a case, I'm just gonna use a square to rebuild this. So one, two, three, and four. And what I'm gonna do is instead of curvature on both sides, I'm just gonna turn everything off. And two is going to be curvature and explicit control on. And this side, three, keep it at three degrees. And this side is going to fit uh, five degree. Now what that does, uh, what a rebuild of this type does is it keeps the continuity over here, but it does fix the little bit of CV uh, structure issue here. So it just makes it straight and nice. So I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to delete the original. Because it is curvature, it's still going to retain curvature over here at the bottom, like this, which is what I want. And this one, I'm just going to make sure that it is still aligned. So I'm just going to project from, from uh, project it from the Y, trim here, trim here. Make sure it is still curvature continuous. I'm happy with that. And now let's move on back to this. Okay, so this one, I'm just gonna project it from the Y, I'm just, I'm, uh, just because there are two separate surfaces. Actually, let's see if normal works. 
Uh, well, it's a little bit off. It looks like it's off, but it shouldn't be. Let's see. It just might be a... Yeah, I think that's just a rendering issue. So it looks like it's 0 0.0006, uh, which it's actually really tight. And I think just that's just an appearance issue. So I'm just going to live like this. And this one, I'm just going to divide into two pieces like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy paste this curve over here, snap it here, like this, and the other side. I'm just going to scale up just a little bit and I'm going to stretch it over here. And go align G2 over here, and align G2 over here. And I'm going to use the square to finish this off. So one, two, three, and four. This curve I don't need anymore, so I'm going to delete. This one I'm going to delete. And lastly, this piece over here. So one. Now I did. Did I? I'm going. To, I'm just going to make sure that I curvature align this. Because I feel like I didn't. Okay, so that's nicely done over there. Edge. Okay, so that's good. And now, so one is going to do curvature, three is curvature, and I'm just going to turn the explicit control off. So one, two, three, and four. Oh, what's going on? Uh, it's not letting me grab this one, so let's see what's going on. Oh, okay, so it looks like the curve is a little bit short, so I'll probably have to just snap it over here. Okay, so it's still good over here, so now let's, let's hide all the curves. Oh, okay, let's hide everything except for this one like that just gonna say one two three and four one is going to rebuild three rebuild okay so that's good okay so it looks like we have a little bit of issues here so i'm going to have to fix that the cv structure is a little bit weird because i well yeah so I'm just going to copy and paste this edge again. Now I did delete the curve. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to snap it over here and using stretch over here. Just going to snap it like that. And I'm going to make sure that it's aligned. Over here, I'm using the square tool. So one, two, three, and four over here. Now the CV structure should be better. So it looks like it's quite even here. So that's good. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Two, three, scrap edge, and four. And here it is. Yeah, I think well, one of the reasons why I did this is because I moved the this project uh, projection curve over here, and because this was just aligned. I think you moved the CV a little bit too much here, which made it a little bit uh, wonky over here. However, I was able to fix it and let's check the continuity. The highlight looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, however, I just want to make sure the continuity is coverage over here and it is. All right, um, so I think we made a decent progress over here. Uh, the highlight looks pretty good. Uh, it's following the shape quite well. Uh, I think you could maybe use a little improvement over here, but I think overall it looks pretty decent. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Of course, it can be a little bit better, but as far as uh, first shot goes, I think this is pretty good and we can probably continue on. Okay, so that's it for part 55. We will, of course, continue in the next tutorial. And thank you guys for watching.